Hello everybody. If you want to read all the stories in full, please go to www.steveuk.blog. Thank you. Short Story 227 A New Friend Tom was a quiet, shy man. He lived alone in a small house. He liked his house. It was peaceful and comfortable. Tom had a good job in an office. It was easy work, but Tom was lonely. He didn't have many friends. One afternoon, Tom saw a small brown dog in his garden. The dog looked sad. Tom felt sorry for it, so he gave the dog some food. The dog ate it quickly and looked happy. Tom smiled. He liked the dog. The next day, the dog came back. Tom gave it food and water. The dog was happy. Tom named the dog Max. Max was friendly and loved to play. Tom and Max played in the garden and went for walks. Tom was not lonely anymore. He had a new friend. One day, Tom took Max to the park. There were many people and dogs. A young woman was sitting on a bench with a beautiful dog. Max ran to play with the other dog. Tom talked to the woman. Her name was Lisa. They talked about their dogs and other things. They became friends. Tom and Lisa met in the park often. They walked their dogs together and talked about their lives. Tom was very happy. He had two new friends. They met several more times and their friendship developed. They walked their dogs in the park every day. They talked about their lives, their jobs and their hobbies. Lisa was funny and kind. Tom liked talking to her. He felt happy when he was with her. One day Lisa said, Tom, would you like to come to the cinema with me next week? Tom was surprised. He didn't often go to the cinema, but he liked Lisa, so he said, yes, I'd love to. The next week Tom and Lisa went to the cinema. They saw a comedy. It was funny and they laughed a lot. After the cinema, they went to a cafe for a drink. They talked and laughed. Tom had a great time. He realized he was falling in love with Lisa. They saw each other more and more. They went to the cinema again and then to a restaurant. They laughed, talked and had fun together. Tom realized he was falling in love with Lisa. She was kind, funny and beautiful. He wanted to be with her all the time. One evening, as they walked Max in the park, Tom took a deep breath. He looked at Lisa. Lisa, he said, I really like you. I think I'm in love with you. Lisa smiled. Tom, I like you too, a lot. Tom was so happy. He took Lisa's hand. They smiled at each other. They knew their lives were going to change. They were very happy together. They spent most of their free time together. They walked Max in the park, went to the cinema and ate in nice restaurants. They laughed a lot and had many adventures. After a year, Tom decided to ask Lisa to marry him. He planned a special evening. He cooked Lisa's favorite meal and decorated their living room with candles. When they finished eating, Tom got down on one knee. Lisa, he said, Will you marry me? Lisa was surprised but very happy. Yes, she cried and kissed Tom. They were both very excited. They started planning their wedding. They got married six months later. It was a beautiful wedding. Their friends and family came to celebrate with them. After the wedding, they went on a honeymoon to a sunny island. Tom and Lisa lived happily ever after. They had two children a boy and a girl. Max, the old dog, lived with them until he was very old. Tom and Lisa loved their life together. They were very happy. Vocabulary notes. Shy. Adjective. Someone who is shy is nervous or embarrassed about meeting new people or talking to them. Example. Tom was a shy man. Comfortable. Adjective. Something that is comfortable makes you feel relaxed and happy. Example. He liked his house. It was quiet and comfortable. Lonely. Adjective. 
Someone who is lonely feels sad because they are alone. Example, but Tom was lonely. Wagged its tail, verb phrase. When a dog wags its tail, it moves its tail back and forth quickly, usually to show happiness. Example, the dog looked at Tom and wagged its tail. Friendly, adjective. Someone who is friendly is kind and likes to meet new people. Example, Max was a friendly dog. Hobby, noun, something that you do for pleasure in your free time. Example, they talked about their jobs, their hobbies and their families. Cinema, noun, a place where you can watch films. Example, Lisa said, Tom, would you like to come to the cinema with me next week? Comedy, noun, a film or play that is funny. Example, they saw a comedy, it was funny and they laughed a lot. Restaurant, noun, a place where you can buy and eat a meal. Example, they went to the cinema again and then to a restaurant. Honeymoon, noun, a holiday that a couple takes after they get married. Example, after the wedding, they went on a honeymoon to a sunny island. Example sentences. Shy. She's a shy person and finds it difficult to talk to strangers. Comfortable. The armchair was so comfortable that I nearly fell asleep. Lonely. I felt very lonely after my friends moved away. Friendly. The locals were very friendly and welcoming. Hobby. My hobbies include reading, gardening and cooking. Cinema. Let's go to the cinema tonight. Comedy. I love watching comedies to cheer me up. Restaurant. We had a delicious meal at the Italian restaurant. Honeymoon. They went on a honeymoon to the Maldives. Additional examples. Wagged its tail. The puppy wagged its tail excitedly when it saw me. Comfortable. I'm so comfortable in these old jeans. Lonely. She felt lonely after her breakup. Friendly. The new neighbor is very friendly and helpful. Hobby. Gardening is my favorite hobby. Cinema. The new cinema complex has 12 screens. Comedy. The comedian told me some really funny jokes. Restaurant. We booked a table at a French restaurant for my birthday. Honeymoon. They had a wonderful honeymoon in Hawaii. Story written by Google Gemini AI. Images created by ImageFX, Firefly and Designer AI. To read all the stories in full, please go to www.steveuk.blog. Thank you. Hello, this is Steve. If you enjoyed the story, please would you take the time to leave a meaningful comment and click on the like icon. If you want to know when the next story has been uploaded, please click on the notify bell icon to be notified. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and tell your English learning friends so they can benefit too. Thank you.